as a business owner, a marketer, or an entrepreneur, running Facebook ads is probably one of the most cost-effective ways to drive traffic to your online store, your website, your products, or your services. But what I've noticed is that a lot of people don't know how to run profitable Facebook ads. It's Unice here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to set up your Facebook ads so you can drive traffic to your website or online store and make massive sales see this video as a full course on facebook ads a complete guide to help you to set up your facebook ads so they can reach more people make more sales and make more money if you are new to this channel welcome on this channel i teach you different marketing and sales strategies that work facebook and instagram ads and how to grow your business using social media platforms and if you want to see more of my content on how to increase your sales and grow your business tap the subscribe button and enable notifications so that youtube will notify you as soon as i drop new videos and if you like what i'm sharing in this video kindly give this video a thumbs up so that more people will get to see this video and youtube will get to promote this video to more people as a business owner a marketer or an entrepreneur running facebook ads is probably one of the most cost effective way to drive traffic to your online store your website your products or your services but what i've noticed is that a lot of people don't know how to run profitable facebook ads they don't know how to get results with their facebook ads they have no idea on how to make their facebook ads work all right so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you step-by-step -step process on how to run profitable Facebook ads for your business so you can drive traffic to your online store your products or services and make massive sales so let's go back to my laptop screen let me show you how to set up profitable Facebook ads now the first thing is for you to go to your browser and then type business dot facebook dot com slash overview make sure you put overview all right then it will take you to this place you click on create account now when you click on create account they would ask you to put your business name so you can put your business i can say unis consulting all right then you put your email so now you hit submit all right, so when you click on submit, they're going to bring up a pop-up to tell you that they have sent you an, a message to your email address so that you can go there and click on the link there to verify your business account. So let me go over to my email, all right? Then you'll see, you'll see confirm your business email address. So I'm going to click on this confirm now. So once I click on this confirm now, it's going to verify my email address and the, uh, another window will open, which is my Facebook business manager account so i'm going to click on this confirm now so that it will not take me to another page now once you click on that it will take you to this place so now this is the business setting all right so you have the users that people that are connected to your 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 business account but i'm going to be focusing on accounts so under account you are going to see pages ad accounts business assets instagram accounts whatsapp accounts we are going to be focusing on these pages and Add account in subsequent videos i'm going to show you how to you know do other ones like instagram accounts and whatsapp accounts and all that all right and you can see that there are also other options other things you can actually do in your facebook business manager account now you click on pages as you can see i've actually you know added some pages to this business account but as a new person who is just starting out you're not going to see anything here so what i'm going to do is that you're going to click add here or you see another ad at this side so i'll click on add here so if you want to add any page to your business account you'll now see add a page request access to a page or create a new page now if you already have a page before now before creating your business manager account you simply click on add a page once you click on add a page, you'll be able to add that page. They will ask you to put the page name or the page URL, and you're the owner of that page. They will automatically add your page to your business manager. Account. Look at it. Adding a page means that you will see it in your business manager. To add a page, you must already be an admin of that page. So once you're an admin to that page and you put the page name here or the URL here, you'll be able to add it. So once you put any name here, it will just pop up and you just click on add page and you'll be able to add the page if you're an agency maybe advertising agency and you want to request access to somebody's page maybe you want to run 
you know, pages for somebody, you can click on request access to the page and the person will grant you access. So you can be able to help the person and run ads or you can create a new page. So maybe you don't have any page yet. You can just click here to create a new page and then follow the prompt to create a new page. You choose your category, then you can be able to, you know, create a new page page now after adding a page to your business manager account the next thing you're going to do is that you're going to create a new ad account or you add an old ad account so if you have an old ad account you can actually add it here all right or you can create a new ad account you simply come over here and click on add you just click on create a new ad account all right or you can add an old ad account you already have to the business manager account but most of the time you need to create a new Ad account. So you click on create a new ad account. All right. So once you click a new ad account, they will ask you to put the account name. All right. Once you put the account name, the time zone. So for me, I would prefer you use your own location time zone. All right. So you just select the currency of your own country. So I would advise you to use the time zone of your country and also select the currency of your own country and then click on next. Once you're done with creating your ad account, they're going to tell you to add your payment information. All right. So just add your payment information and that's just it all right so now once you finish adding the next thing is for you to link your instagram account so you can actually link your instagram account and it's the same thing just click on add and then they will ask you to log into your instagram account so that you can be able to add your instagram page so you connect your instagram account so if you have another instagram account just click here and connect it just follow the prompt to connect it the same thing with your whatsapp account all right now let's move over to the ads manager. Let's now go to the ads manager account where I will show you how to actually start creating your first ad. Okay, now this is the ads manager. You can see there is no ads yet created on this particular ad account. So I'm going to be clicking on create to show you how to actually set up your ad. All right, so I'm going to click on create now. You see there are three broad campaign objective there is awareness there is consideration and then there is conversion now under awareness there are on other sub you know campaign objective under it which is a brand awareness and reach all right then under consideration there are about six sub objective under it which is traffic engagement app installs video view lead generation and then messages now under conversion there is conversion catalog sales and store traffic you're going to choose you know your campaign objective based on what you want to achieve with your ads. So let's say you want to drive traffic to your website or maybe to your Instagram, you know, page and all that. Then you're going to be using traffic as your campaign objective. Maybe you're into real estate business and you want to generate leads for your, you know, for your real estate business. You can actually go with leads generation. All right. So you just choose your campaign objective based on what you want to achieve with your ads. So in this particular video, I'm going to be choosing traffic objective. All right. Now, when you scroll down, I'm going to click on this drop down arrows so you can name your campaign and the asset level. So I'm going to say test traffic ad. Then I'll copy and paste it in other ones. Then you click on continue. Now, when you click on continue, it's going to bring you to this page. All right, then scroll down. Now, when it comes to campaign budget optimization, I'm not going to talk about it. I mean, that maybe I'll talk about it in another video. All right, but it's basically you when you want to like, want to create multiple assets using campaign budget optimization can actually go go well for you because you want Facebook to just put distribute your budget across assets to get more results for you depending on the delivery optimization choices you want. All right, so it's not it's not something you use all, all the time. It's mostly when you want to. You know set up different ad sets all right so but in this particular video i'm not going to be choosing only one ad set so i'm not going to turn it on so let's move on to the next one now i'm going to be sending them to a website so i'm going to leave it at websites then i'll scroll down again to budget right so now under the budget let me just select 2000 now under the start and end date all right so when you put an end date it means that you want facebook to stop your ad on a particular date let me select it now so you can see it now when you click and they will tell you to put the day the date and also the time you want them to end the ad so it's basically telling facebook to automatically stop your ad when it reaches that end date but if you don't put an end date you have to now be monitoring your ad and turn it up by yourself 
So you make sure you don't forget about your ad. You'll be monitoring it. The day you want to turn it off, you will now go and turn it off by yourself manually. All right. Or you can actually put an end date. So it just depends on you on what you actually want to do. All right. Now let's click on more options. Scheduling. You can decide to schedule your ads or you, you, you leave it like that. Now let's scroll again. By now, you must have known who your target audience are and also the places where you can actually get them. All right. So you must understand who your target audience are for you to be able to target the right people. So let's assume maybe I want to run, you know, I want to sell clothes. All right. Maybe female clothes. So I'm going to be using that as an example. I want to sell female clothes. Now, and let's say maybe I live in Lagos. I'm going to remove Nigeria. I don't like to target the whole of Nigeria unless in just some rare cases. But it's preferably you target the location where you want people to actually buy from, not just the whole of Nigeria. All right. So I'm going to remove this Nigeria here and then I'll select Lagos. I'll select Lagos and to select Abuja to just select any state you want to target. That's basically what location is all about. And then please, Look at this particular place, location, people living in or recently in this location. You will want to change it to people living in this location. So you can target to only people that are living in that location, not just people that visited, you know, and still left that location. Then scroll down again, your age, you already know people that, will, that can be able to afford what you are selling. All right, so their age range. So let me say I'm selling female clothes, you know, so I can start from 24 and then 65 plus just... Select depending on what, you know, people you are targeting, all right? Now, gender, since I'm, 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 I'm selling female clothes, I'm going to select only women, all right? Now, under details targeting, I'm going to type in a keyword, women clothing. Let me see if anything like that will come. Okay, look at it here. So, I'm going to select it. Now, I've typed female clothing. So, I'll ask Facebook to suggest for me. So, I'm going to click on suggestion so that Facebook will suggest more, you know, keywords relating to women's clothing. So I'm going to click on suggestions. All right. So look at it here, dresses, clothing, fashion accessories. I know that women will actually be interested in fashion accessories. So I'm going to select fashion accessories. Now let me scroll down again, luxury goods. All right. Even handbags. So luxury goods, then handbags. I think I saw handbags before now. Okay. I've seen handbags again. So I'm going to select it. Handbags. All right. Now I'm going to leave it like this. Then again, I will scroll down again. Now for this detail targeting expansion, I don't usually select it, but just try it out and see if it will work for your kind of business. All right. Now the next one is your placement. Mostly Facebook recommends automatic placements, but personally, I usually work with manual placements. So when you select automatic placement, you're telling Facebook to show your ads both on Instagram, on Facebook, on their audience network, Messenger, everywhere. I prefer to work with manual placements. So I can select where I want Facebook to show my ads to. All right. So if I'm running ads to Facebook now, I'm going to select only Facebook. So I'm going to remove Instagram, remove audience network, remove Messenger, and select only Facebook. I'm going to remove Rails. All right. So let me leave it. Then stories. No, let me remove it too. Let me remove it. Let me remove it. All right, so let me leave it this way. All right, that's how many placements now? Seven over 18 placements, okay. Let's scroll down again. For devices, I'm going to leave it at all devices. All right, so I'll scroll down again. Then under optimization, there are like four different optimization. There is landing page view, there is link clicks, there is daily unique reach and then impressions. So basically, just work with either link clicks or landing page views. But for this particular ad, I'm going to be going with link clicks. Let's scroll down again. When I charge, you can actually change it to link clicks, cost per link clicks, instead of just impression, cost per link clicks. All right. So basically, when you select cost per link clicks, it means that whenever somebody clicks on your link, the Facebook will charge you. But when you leave it as impression, it means that whenever somebody just sees your ad, even without clicking on it, Facebook will charge you. That's why I advise you to select cost per link click so that you'll be sure that somebody is clicking on your link before Facebook charges you. We are done with the ad set level. So let's click on next to the ad level now. All right. So under the ad level, you select your Facebook page, which is already here. All right. Then you scroll down again under create ads. 
Now, I'm going to go with create ad. You can actually use your, your create a new ad or you can select an existing post. But for this particular ad, I'm going to be leaving that create a new ad. All right, so manual upload, yes. So there are different formats you can actually upload when you want to create a new ad from your business manager account. All right, so you can select single image or video, all right, or carousel or collections. So, but basically, I usually work with single image or video. All right. But if you are selling different products, maybe you are selling shoes. Now you want to like show like about 10 different shoes. You can go with carousel. All right. But mostly I think single image is better. Or you can even, those are your shoes. You can put it in form of a video and still show it. So I prefer single images or video. So we'll scroll down again. You can now select the ad creative. So you click on this ad media here. You can either add your image or you add your video. So anyone you select, they will just show you so you can be able to add it. So in this particular case, I'm going to click on add images. Now, when you click on add images, you can actually upload an image you want to add. All right, you can upload an image. So you click on upload image. So just select the image you want to upload. I'll just select any image and then click on open. So you just select the image you want, then click on next. Now the next thing you're going to do is optimize it. Optimizing is more of adding an enhancement to it. All right, so I'm going to allow enhancement and then I'll click on done. So wait for it to upload here. Your parameter is basically your sales copy. So you must have written out your sales copy before now. So you will just simply copy and paste your sales copy. Now the next one is your headline. So use any headline you know that will be attractive to your target audience. Now, for instance, I use the free delivery nationwide. All right. So, you know, people like free things. So, it, it will actually attract them. Now, you scroll down again on the website. You just add, okay, let me just add my website URL here. Anywhere you want to send people to, that's the URL you are going to add on the website URL. Now, the call to action, basically, learn more. But you can use, depending on what you are selling, if you want people to download something, you can use download as a call to action button. If you want people to get your offer, you can use get offer. If you want people to order now, maybe you want to send people to your website, your e-commerce website, you can use order now so that they will know that they are going there to buy. All right. So basically, use anything that works for you. But I love Lemon because it actually works for me. The next thing for you to do is for you to click on publish. All right. So once you publish your, your ad, just wait for few hours for Facebook to review your ad. Once they review your ad, your ad will start running. And that's basically how to set up your ads and start running your ads. Facebook Business Manager is a massive platform and it has a lot of things in it. All right, so if you want to learn more on how to run profitable Facebook ads, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any video I post on this channel because I'm going to be sharing more content on how to actually drive massive sales using facebook ads thank you for watching this video if you like this video please kindly give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button then turn on your notification bell so that youtube will get to notify you each time i drop new videos on this channel see you next time